Roger, sporting a battle scar from what was obviously a physical game. I mean, have you ever played in a tournament that's been like that before? Um, played in games at that intensity before, but never experienced a finish like that before to, to go kind of 40 odd phases at the end of the game, points up, and then. You know, with one kick of the game to lose all that effort and, and you know come away with very little, um, it, it's a it's a hard pill to swallow. The discipline during those 40 phases does that show this team's matured a lot? Do you think a couple of seasons ago maybe you wouldn't have held out? Well, it's a very difficult situation because you know you, you desperately want to win the ball back, but at the same time you know the referee's going to be looking to give a penalty, and we realise you know the um, discipline has to be squeaky clean, especially that last play of the game. You know. Three points would have won in the game, no problem. So it was all about defending um, with passion, but also sort of using your using your um, brain as well. So uh, I think we did a good effort. We, we did everything we could, but unfortunately, they just slotted that got, uh, dropped a little bit at the end. Going back to that game a couple of seasons ago, it was very similar around half time, very tight. Munster came out in the second half and they just blew you away. Does that show again how far this team's come that you were able to come back and get back on top? Yeah, unfortunately, it's just happened. Uh, you know, a few times too many. You now it's, it's three times we've come here and we've been in a, in a good position. You know, with you know, 10, 20 minutes to go, haven't been able to, to finish that off. And it's you know, it's just very. We we'll talk about it each time, but it's just very disappointing. You know, as I say, there's, there's very little. You know, we, we couldn't ask anybody more for any effort. And my God, it's just um, whenever you come to places like Thilman Park and, and you know the crowd gets behind. The team and, and they put you they constantly put you under pressure. Um, it's just uh, you know you have to literally be squeaky clean in, 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 uh, in, in defence. And, uh, unfortunately, um, I think you know they just got a few uh, decisions there at the end of the game, and, and um, you know, we come away with a bonus point, which is better than nothing. But very disappointing. Just a final word. Try and explain to us what it's like playing with a crowd that's against you like that. They they are the 16th man for months, aren't they? Yeah, they're very loud. Um, you know they get behind, get behind their team whenever they're not doing well, and um, <laughs> it's probably not the best thing to say. But I think they can, um, you know, whenever they can affect maybe referees' decisions too, but just because the actual volume, you know, uh, puts them under a little, a little bit of pressure sometimes. But it just adds to the pressure the whole thing, you know, for, not just for the referee but for, for the opposition players. So you, you just got to make sure you do the basics right and um, and stay disciplined, you know, for the top joy.